My name is The Adipose and in this video I'm going to show you how you can upload your first video to YouTube. Well, okay guys, uh, welcome back to my How to Be a Successful YouTuber series of videos. And in this video, part three, I'm going to show you how you can get your first video online. Part one, I talked about signing up for the, the for an account and getting it all running. Part two, we talked about channel names. And let's start getting towards the good stuff here. Let's start getting towards the uploading of a video. And I'm going to, to do that, you log into your account. Um, and as you can see here, I'm logged in onto the, my new YouTube account there. And you click the Upload button. Button, which takes us to this important screen here and if you're going to be a regular uploader you're going to see this screen quite a lot um, there's various ways of getting um, footage here you can record straight from a webcam you do this button here we can create a photo slideshow there's various things with Google Hangouts if you know what those are and there's even um, a version of a video editor on YouTube as well but most of the time what you'll probably find is you've made a video with some other video editing program or website and you'll be uploading through this section here and the two ways you can access that are by either um, getting a, um, a, a file window like this and just dragging it over and releasing it that will start the upload or you can um, click directly there and actually manually just find the file on your computer and it will start uploading there as well now let's do that let's grab that um, little video and start the upload and as you can see um, it, the, the screen has changed and it will start uploading now you can add more videos here so you can up actually upload several things at once but you'll probably find that your your upload speed is a lot slower than your download speed so I would very strongly recommend you only do one at a time unless you're doing something like leaving it overnight now before this upload gets too far along we need to change the privacy settings because at the moment this video is going to publish straight away which means it's going to go public but as you can see it's not ready to go public yet I haven't sorted out the title I haven't done the description tags thumbnails playlist anything so we need to come over here and change this from being a public video to a private video and then you need to click this um, it'll automatically kind of update your changes down there at the bottom so this video is now even when it finishes is um, kind of offline if that makes sense no one's going to be able to see this but I can start um, editing so um, we're going to go through and we're going to do things like we're going to we're going to fix up the title so uh, we're going to call this how to be a successful youtuber and I'll put that in capital letter. let's put that in capitals to capitals a bit to make it a bit more eye-catchy and this was video number two and this was about um, naming your channel so there's my title and um, we're going to talk more in a future video about what makes a good title um, for a video then and then your description needs to go into a lot more detail about your channel it could include links to um, your channel's homepage, maybe a blog, maybe a Twitter, maybe a Facebook. Um, it will, it needs to have lots of the kind of keywords that people might be kind of searching for. But again, we'll talk about descriptions and titles in a future video. So just for now, I'm I'm going to take a little shortcut and I'm just going to copy the title into there, and then I'm going to say um, please like the video and subscribe. Um, to the channel that, that's a fairly kind of default one but we 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 will need a lot more detail there eventually if we want to be a successful youtuber but that will do just for now and then tags um, in short are the things that search engines and um, YouTube look for when people type into the kind of search engine search bar at the top here so I'm just going to put a few little things that describe this particular video and obviously that's gonna it's kind of about YouTube um, it's a tutorial um, it's about naming the channel um, and it's by me the Adipose lives or the Adipose TV so I maybe could put my own little channel name there as well because people might want to search for that and again uh, when I'm ready it'll either automatically save or I can click that save button um, so I've started to kind of do things like that now we also need to choose a category over here um, to make sure that when people are kind of searching it kind of links to the right places now this is um, the video here I'm currently doing I guess is kind of film animation gaming it's also kind of a how-to sometimes you have to just kind of pick the 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 best fit um, you might not fit exactly so I, I'm going to put mine as a as a how-to because it's kind of a, um, a tutorial video and I'm going to hit save again to make sure that those ideas are saved um, in the future we're going to be talking about what's called a playlist um, when you're not just making an individual video but actually making um, a series of videos on a certain topic you can create a playlist and this is where you can add your new video to that playlist straight away but not yet um, and then down here once it's private I could add 
um, some of the people um, on my friends list here to be able to kind of see the video or preview the video or get feedback, um, but we don't need to at the moment. Now there's a few little advanced settings um, that you can have a look at as well. Um, if you ever monetize your videos, which means um, you're going to try and put adverts on the front of them and maybe make a little bit of money out of them, um, those settings will be um, along this top bar here and you'll need to set them uh, when you're uploading your video. But as you're just starting, you won't have access to those extra features yet. And you've just got a few more basic features here like do you want to allow comments, yes or no? Um, do you want to moderate comments before they appear, uh, which is this here, or do you just want to allow them to appear? Um, is there any kind of special license you want to use? And normally you're just going to leave all of these um, as default. Um, embedding means that other people on their websites can put a link to your video and that normally helps your channel grow. So I'd leave it on. Notify subscribers means that your video will appear on their feed. So um, again, we would kind of leave this on. And video location recording date um, are only necessary if there is a particular need um, to do so. So most of the time you can leave these advanced settings um, as you are. Now you can see here that the video has finished up a loading and now it's processing. That means that YouTube um, is turning it from whatever format you were uploading it into um, into its own kind of special YouTube flashy um, FLV type um, file format. What means it will work and kind of work across all computers and all players. So we're just going to um, wait for that to finish uploading and then we'll continue um, the tutorial okay so eventually um, it will your screen will change to this upload complete your video will be live at blah 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 and um, that basically means that you are now a youtuber your video is online and we can see here as well that literally just bursting into life are the the thumbnails that I can choose which will be the the, the little image that everyone sees now while you are a beginner youtuber I'm afraid um, unless things change you're gonna have to use one of the video thumbnails that they select from you one tends to come from close to the beginning one from the middle one from the end and you've just got to choose one of the three. Um, I will be showing you in the future um, what you need to do to get things like custom thumbnails and longer videos um, and you should be able to access it eventually but for now you're just gonna have to choose the one here that you think works the best um, and I think I'll probably just leave it um, as it is for now by clicking that middle one um, there um, and we can click save changes or it'll save automatically and I can now head back over um, to the video manager which will show me all the videos I've got and here we are um, I now have uploads number one and this little symbol here told tells me that it's a private video no views at the moment no upvotes no downvotes no comments and when I'm ready I can click the edit button and I can go in and I can make any last minute changes before I actually make this video go live and of course that includes making sure a good title good thumbnail you know all, all all that kind of stuff two or three two or three options here um, eventually you'll be able to um, schedule videos um, but that comes a little bit later on as well but for now I can set it as unlisted which means that um, anyone with the exact link can view it and if I put my mouse over the top here that's the link to get to my video if I right click that and hit copy link location um, that then now gives me um, the link to my video if I just bring up uh, a notepad page and press paste um, that is the link to my video and if I now go a new page and paste that in there you'll see it'll go straight to the video and here is the video uploaded so you know I am I am now a youtuber with this video which is um, pretty pretty cool and only, only took a, uh, a few minutes but unlisted means it isn't going to get published to the web or your subscribers and it allows you again to get a bit of feedback before publishing it because you can only publish once and when you do publish you'll get that um, you get a little boost in 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 search rankings you get a little boost onto your subscribers windows and things like that but as far as I'm aware you only ever get that boost once so you have to be completely happy and completely ready before you actually click that over to public. Um, you can, when you go public, share it to your Google Plus page, your Facebook page, your Twitter page. Um, you do have to kind of link those up and I'll show you how to do that in the future. Um, but you can kind of have a simultaneous publish to all of those kind of social networks at once. And when you're ready, we just click save and share and you will be a YouTuber. Now, of course, we still have loads more to talk about. You know, where do we get this video footage from? How do we take video of some kind of consoles and cameras? And how do we video edit? And we've got loads and loads of things to do. Um, but once you actually have your video now, um, you now know how to get it uploading. We've got loads more here to talk about with enhancements and audios, annotations, and, and there's so much more to go. Um, but hopefully now, once you have, once you start to get those videos ready, you can now get them onto your channel. And if I go to my channel now, we'll see that my, my first video 
um, in the video section is now on my channel. I hope you found that useful. Please give the video a like if you did and do subscribe to the channel for all the latest YouTube tutorials. Take care and I'll see you soon. Bye bye.